Hello guys, in this video we are going to see the optimized solution to detect one poisonous bottle out of thousand identical bottles. The problem statement goes like this. A bad king has thousand bottles of wine. A neighbor queen plots to kill the bad king and sends a servant to poison the wine. But the king's guards catch the servant after he could poison only one bottle. The guards don't know which bottle but know that poison is strong and even if it is diluted, it would still kill the king. Furthermore, it takes one month to have an effect. The bad king decides he will get some of the prisoners in his vast dungeons to drink the wine. Being a clever king, he knows that he needs to murder no more than 10 prisoners and will still be able to drink the rest of the wine. The remaining 999 bottles at his wedding party, which is in 5 weeks time. Explain what is in mind of the king. How will he be able to do so? Just remember, he will require only 10 prisoners. One more thing to focus here is that it takes one month to have an effect. The party is in 5 weeks time. So we cannot repeat the experiment on same prisoner. Before proceeding with the question, let's revise some permutation and combination concepts. If we have 10 unique numbers from 0 to 9 and if we are given only one blank space, the total number of unique permutations available to us are 10. If we have two blank spaces, for every choice to be put on first blank space, there are 10 choices available to be put on second blank space. For first blank space, there are 10 unique choices available and corresponding to each choice, there are 10 unique choices available to be put on second blank space. So total number of unique permutations we will get will be 10 into 10 is equal to 100. Similarly, for three blank spaces, total unique permutations will be 10 into 10 into 10 is equal to 1000. So we can generalize that total unique permutations will be number of choices raised to the power number of spaces available to place those choices. For example, here number of choices is 10 and if the available spaces are 2, like in the second case, the total number of unique permutations is 10 raised to the power 2 is equal to 100. Now coming to the question, if we assume that the spaces are prisoners and the choices available to us are whether a prisoner will drink wine from the bottle which we will denote as 1 and whether he will not drink wine from the bottle which we can denote as 0. If we have only one prisoner, the two choices are 0 or 1. So to test the wine, we will have to make the prisoner drink the wine from the bottle. So if he will die, we can say that bottle is poisonous, otherwise the bottle is not poisonous. So we can test only one bottle. If there are two prisoners, the total unique permutations available to us are 2 into 2 is equal to 4. The unique permutations will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. For combination 0, 0, we can associate one bottle with it say B0 and we can say that for bottle B0, prisoner 1 and prisoner 2 will not drink the wine. Similarly, for bottle B1, we can say that prisoner 1 will not drink the wine but prisoner 2 will drink the wine. For bottle B2, prisoner 1 will drink the wine but prisoner 2 will not drink the wine. For bottle B3, both prisoners 1 and 2 will drink the wine. If prisoner 1 die and prisoner 2 did not die, we can say that bottle B2 is poisonous. So if we have two prisoners, we are able to test four bottles. Similarly, if we have three prisoners, the total unique permutations available to us are 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 8. So we can test eight bottles. If we look closely, the combinations available to us are the binary convergence of the decimal numbers written with the bottles, which are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Even if we don't know the convergence from binary to decimal or from decimal to binary, we can still conclude that these are the unique combinations available for each bottle. So the total unique combinations for three prisoners are 8. If we observe that prisoner 1 and prisoner 3 die, we can say there should be 1 for prisoner 1 and 3 and 0 for prisoner 2. So the combination should be 1, 0, 1, which we can see from the table is B5. So we can conclude that bottle B5 has poison. If we remember the question, there are 1000 bottles. So we need 1000 unique permutations. 
2 raised to the power 9 is 512 and 2 raised to the power 10 is 1024. We need 1000 unique permutations, so we can say that we need 10 prisoners to figure out which bottle has poisoner. If we observe that prisoner 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 died, so we can conclude that we need bottle with unique combination 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. And if we convert it to decimal, we will get 854. So we will say that bottle B854 is poisonous. Again, I repeat, even if we don't know the conversions, we can conclude that these combinations will be unique and we can detect which bottle is poisonous by using 10 prisoners. Thank you for watching.